Hi guys, welcome back to another video or your first video here, I don't know. Welcome if you're new here, welcome either way. This video is going to be my Owlcrate unboxing. So I don't have a monthly subscription monthly subscription to Owlcrate, but I do occasionally pick up their special edition boxes. So this is my box for the Dreamer trilogy by Maggie Stiefvater. So I have previously received the Owlcrate special editions of the first two books in the series. So when I saw they had the third one, I had to get it. I couldn't have them not matching after all. So this beautiful blue cover. I'm really not a big fan of these covers compared to the covers of her first series, but these are definitely improvements and I can't wait to see what they've done with the third one. So let's get into that unboxing. And I should have brought scissors before doing this. Hang on a minute. Right, there we go. Can you tell that I'm not prepared? Anyway, so here we are. And this is what it looks like. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't believe these are quite like the Owlcrate monthly subscriptions. I think for their specific special edition boxes, they have the book plus a couple of very key items. So first of all, we have a beautiful art print. I recognise so many of these characters. That's wonderful. And it lists what comes in the box as well. So that is just stunning. It does show you the differences between the covers, but I'll be honest, I think that because the original cover of this one was blue anyway, not much seems to have changed, although oh, loads of pecking screws, so let me just bin these before I make a mess. And there we have it. So we have a beautiful wooden bookmark, which says, I'll create on the back, it has their logo and also print is dead. Um, I don't know if that's the, that's probably the company that produced it. I'll have a look on the spoiler card in a minute. But it says, post terror, light follows darkness. And I think the same words, but in, um, in Latin. And that is such gorgeous artwork. My lighting is just not doing this justice because I... Couldn't wait for good lighting to film this and my ring light is still pooped out, but that is stunning. And I think it's like thin enough that it wouldn't leave like a dent in your book. That's the, that's always my worry with buying wooden bookmarks myself. So yes, wooden bookmark designed to buy at print is dead. And the last thing in the box is the book itself. So Again, not my favourite of the series, but I definitely wanted one that matched the other two. Can the dreams be stop sh stopped? Should the dreams be stopped? I'm so excited to see how this trilogy ends out. So let's see what else. So the special, I don't want to particularly take it out of the wrapping just yet. I'll take it out when I do read it. Um, so apparently this is signed by the author, exclusive Starry Night cover to match our previous editions exclusive reversible dust check oh maybe i will open it up and the art print is by saint dre that's saint spelled how you would expect it and then d-r-i so i'm now curious to look under the dust jacket for the other one but yes this is indeed signed oh wow so with these reversible dust jackets, what you can do is flip the dust jacket inside out to show the artwork. And this, I'm assuming is Chainsaw, who's one of the characters in the book, but that is a wonderful piece of artwork. And I am, is there anything actually on the hardcover? No, it's sort of embossed and it has the Grey Warren there, but I'm definitely gonna now open up the other one, or the other two, because I don't remember the first one having anything. Oh, it does, wow. Okay, I never even, oh. And it's got that interesting side thing going on, but that's stunning. And got two swords on the inside of this one. Look at the detail on that. I do believe this is actually art by Maggie Stiefvater herself. She's a remarkable artist. I really recommend following her on Instagram because she's often posting 
artwork that she's done or artwork in progress and i just think it is beautiful oh having these side by side is going to be so satisfying oh wow okay i see that this first one also has the thing on the side that the third one doesn't but doesn't matter i'm really pleased with how these look but look at this stunning artwork that's in the middle of this one that is just beautiful and i just love the way that all these covers are really iridescent so that's how they all match up i'm really in love with all of these covers so i'll hold this one up while i talk to you about this I can't really explain much about this series without spoiling the sp series that it's based on. So Maggie Steve, Art Maggie Steve Arter wrote a series called The Raven Cycle, starting with The Raven Boys, and it is one of my all-time favourite series. I really, really love it. It's technically labelled as sort of paranormal romance or urban fantasy, but it's so much more than that. It's about a girl, Blue, who is the only non-psychic person in an all-psychic family and she befriends a group of boys and they go off on adventures and they're trying to solve all these mysteries to do with ancient Welsh kings and it's just a fantastic fantastic series and this series um, is a spin-off series following Ronan who is one of the boys and he is now the main character of this trilogy and yeah I don't I think technically you could go into this without the knowledge from the first one but one it would spoil certain things and two I think that I think that to fully understand the magic system you probably need the background of the things that happen in that trilogy but I really can't wait to finish this out. And there you have it that is my Owl Crate unboxing. I really can't wait to finish out this series and I will see you in another video. Bye!